There aren't many space rocks that are as beloved as the piece that I'm holding. This is a Gibeon from Namibia in West Africa. Africa is a vast land filled with striking panoramas and amazing flora and fauna. Besides this obvious beauty, the continent hides all sorts of treasures waiting to be discovered. Join us as we look at 20 terrifying new discoveries made in Africa that change everything. 20. Kaala Bani Hamad Fort. Kaal at Bani Hamad is a fortified Palatine city in Algeria. It was the Hamadid dynasty's first capital in the 11th century, but it is now in ruins. It is in the Hadna Mountains, some 140 miles southeast of Algiers in the Maghreb. The town has four miles of walls, and inside the fortifications are four apartment complexes and Algeria's largest mosque after Mansoura. It is comparable in design to Kairouan's Grand Mosque with a 66-foot tall minaret. Numerous terracotta, jewels, coins, and ceramics have been discovered during excavations excavations, demonstrating the Hamadid dynasty's advanced level of civilization. The remains of the emir's palace, known as Dal al-Bar, include three separate residences separated by gardens and pavilions. 19. Stone Circles Senegambia is a site that consists of four main groupings of stone circles that comprise an exceptional concentration of over 1,000 monuments in a zone 100 kilometers wide along the 350-kilometer-long River Gambia. The four groups, Sanangayen, Wanar, Wasu, and Kerbach, encompass 93 stone circles and numerous tumuli, some of which have been excavated to uncover materials indicating dates ranging from the 3rd century BC to the 16th century AD. The laterite pillar stone circles circles and burial mounds form a large religious environment that has evolved over the course of more than 1,500 years. It reflects a prosperous, well-organized, and long-lasting society. 18. Swana City Scientists have used lasers to expose a long-lost South African city that once housed 10,000 people in the 15th century. Archaeologists discovered ancient homesteads in Suikerbosrand near Johannesburg in the 1970s and 1980s. Around 40 years later, detailed aerial pictures revealed the size of this remarkable site, which had been buried in the vegetation for millennia. The Difficane Civil Wars, which began in the 1820s, brought all these Swana city-states to an end. Some had never been chronicled on paper, and their oral histories had gone unreported. It will take another decade or two of fieldwork to completely comprehend the origins, growth, and eventual destruction of this African city. Ideally, descendants of the people who created and lived in the city should be involved in future studies at this location. 17. 2.9 million year old African stone tools. A new study by a team of experts reveals that early human forebears used some of the oldest stone tools ever discovered to butcher hippos and pound plant material. The work includes what are believed to be the oldest examples of the Oldowan toolkit, a critical Stone Age innovation. The tools were employed on the banks of Lake Victoria in Kenya approximately 2.9 million years ago. The discovery of teeth at the same site as stone tools raises issues regarding which human ancestor created those tools. Multiple lines of evidence show that the artifacts are approximately 2.9 million years old. However, they can be more conservatively dated to between 2.6 and 3 million years years old. 16. Gemala Ruins Gemala, originally Quiquil, is a small mountain village in Algeria, near the northern shore east of Algiers. Gemala was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1982 due to its exceptional adaptation of Roman architecture. Ancient Quiquil boasts a theater, two foray, temples, basilicas, arches, streets, and dwellings. The city was gradually abandoned during the fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th and 6th centuries. Emperor Justinian I made some upgrades, including wall strengthening. Muslims eventually dominated dominated the region, but did not reoccupy Quiquil, which they renamed Jamila. 15. 500-year-old shipwreck with gold. Diamond miners recently unearthed a ship that sank 500 years ago while draining a man-made lagoon off Namibia's coast. While shipwrecks are common along Africa's skeleton coast, this one had $13 million worth of gold coins. In April 2008, geologists from the mining company De Beers discovered the wreck on the coast near Arrangement. One reason it took generations to discover it was because it was beneath the ocean floor. The ship was recognized as the Bomb Jesus, or the Good Jesus, a 500-year-old Portuguese ship that went missing while on its way to India. The ship was loaded with gold, tin, ivory tusks, and 44,000 pounds of copper ingots when it appeared to sink. 
14. Hominid Grave Sites Scientists in South Africa have announced a discovery they believe will compel us to reconsider what it means to be human. Young scientists claim to have discovered small-brained hominid grave sites deep inside the Rising Star Cave system, about 20 miles outside Johannesburg, dating back between 236,000 and 335,000 years, much older than the first known human graves from an Israeli cave, which date back about 92,000 years. Paleoarchaeologists have long argued that larger brains led to more complex reasoning in our later predecessors. Experts feel that this revelation will begin to challenge traditional wisdom. 13. Trophy of Trajan Ancient Rome honored its heroes with titles, public holidays, and monuments. Trajan's trophy, also known as Tropium Trajani in Latin, was a public monument created in the village of Adamclisi Dobrogia in southeastern Romania. Following their victory in the First Dacian War in 101-102, the Roman Senate and people constructed a spectacular edifice to celebrate Emperor Trajan. Trajan's trophy is regarded as one of Romania's largest and most representative ancient monuments. Many archaeological artifacts, including remnants of the original Roman monument, can be found at local museums. 12. The Skeleton Coast in Africa The Skeleton Coast is the northernmost part of Namibia's Atlantic coast and is known as one of the country's wildest and most hostile coastal stretches. The Skeleton Coast National Park spans nearly 6,500 square miles of sandy desert. The waters around here are known for their strong currents, dense fogs, and treacherous sandbanks that are constantly moving. These extreme climatic conditions, when combined with powerful sandstorms, have been blamed for the sinking of over a thousand ships. Many shipwrecks, as well as the skeletons of large cetaceans, are still strewn across the beach as far as the eye can see. The Beach of Hell, as experienced Portuguese navigators called it, was given the name Land That God Created in Anger by the Bushmen. The only way to avoid becoming trapped on this stretch of coast was to navigate completely around it. Despite its particularly prevalent inhospitality, the skeleton coast retains charm. Many animal species, from insects to reptiles and large mammals like elephants, giraffes, and lions, rely on the humidity provided by the fog that pushes inward for miles. Only the most daring travelers, mostly photographers looking for spectacular and surreal landscapes, an infinite space made of sand, water, and nothing else, where nature demonstrates its unrivaled power once more. Thumbnail. Are the skeletons we see in our thumbnail the skeletons who rule the skeleton coast in Namibia? Or is this what happens to people who venture on the coast? I do not have that answer, but either way, it is kind of spooky. 11. Omo Bones The Omo River and its long-vanished tributaries have exposed a layer cake of ancient sediments and the trapped remains of early humans in a remote region of southwestern Ethiopia. People came to the site to learn about Omo 1, one of the earliest known examples of Homo sapiens. They discovered Omo 1 is 36,000 years older than previously thought by using geochemical clues to match the layer of volcanic ash blanketing the fossil to a specific volcanic eruption. Around 233,000 years ago, ash from an enormous eruption of the Ethiopian rift's Shala volcano was deposited atop the sediment layer containing the Omo-1 fossil, implying that Omo-1 and her kind lived here at least that long. If experts can identify another volcanic layer beneath the fossil, it may be possible to determine the oldest possible date for Omo-1. Between approximately 360,000 and 100,000 years ago, the era in which Homo sapiens first appeared and gradually evolved in Africa was one of cataclysmic volcanic activity. Dates for important fossils, such as Omo-1, are critical for scientists piecing together an evolutionary timeline of Homo sapiens. They provide a strong framework for tracking changes in evolution, such as human appearance or in behavior, such as tool technologies. 10. Mysterious Mummy of KV-55 Tomb The KV-55 Tomb is in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. Edward R. Ayrton discovered it in 1907 while working in the valley. It has long been speculated and greatly debated that the body discovered in this tomb belonged to the legendary monarch Akhenaten, who relocated the capital to Akhetaten. The results of DNA and other scientific tests published in February 2010 showed that the individual buried there was Amenhotep III's son and Tutankhamun's father. Furthermore, the analysis determined that this person's age at the time of death was commensurate with Akhenaten's, implying that it is almost certainly Akhenaten's body. However, a growing body of work soon began to appear to dispute the assessment of the age of the mummy and the identification of KV-55 as Akhenaten. 9. Roman Ruins of Timgad Timgad was a Roman city located in Algeria's Ares Mountains. Trajan, the Roman emperor, founded it approximately in 100 CE. The city's full name was Colonia Marciana Ulpia Traiana Tamugadi. Emperor Trajan named the city in honor of his mother, Marcia, eldest sister, 
Ulpia Marciana, and father, Marcus Ulpius Trianus. The remains, located in modern-day Algeria, about 22 miles east of the city of Batna, are notable for being one of the greatest remaining instances of the grid pattern utilized in Roman town design. Timgad was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1982. Emperor Trajan created the city as a military colony in the year 100. It was built to serve as a Roman bulwark against the Berbers of the neighboring Aurus Mountains, and it was predominantly populated by Roman soldiers and colonists. Although most of them had never visited Rome and Timgad was hundreds of miles away, Trajan invested invested significantly in Roman culture and identity. The Vandals devastated the city in the 5th century, after which it declined, after which the Berber tribes of the Ares Mountains destroyed it. During the Moorish Wars in 539 CE, the Byzantine general Solomon took control of and rebuilt the city, bringing it into Byzantine North Africa. The reconquest re-established certain operations in the city, which served as a line of defense against the Moors. However, the early Muslim conquests led to its final collapse since it ceased to be inhabited by the 8th century. 8. The Fossils of Ethiopian Wolf An international team of researchers discovered a remarkable find at the Melka Wakina archaeological site in Ethiopia's southern highlands. During the 2017 field season, a fossil of a canine predator known as the Ethiopian Wolf was discovered in sediments dating back about 1.5 million years. This is the earliest fossil of this mammal ever unearthed and it calls into question prior statements that the species arrived in Ethiopia from Eurasia about 20,000 years ago. The findings give solid evidence for the Ethiopian wolf's earlier existence in Africa. Today, the Ethiopian wolf, a medium-sized carnivore reaching 12 to 18 kilograms, is under imminent threat of extinction. This species lives exclusively in Ethiopia's highlands, having adapted to a tight and distinct ecological niche. There are just about 500 Ethiopian wolves left, and they are spread in separate communities over Ethiopia's bay and Simeon Mountain. 7. Ancient Coma Figurines When excavating trenches for clay to build their dwellings, the villagers of Yikpabongo and other adjacent villages discovered clay statuettes in the ground. Some depicted people, other animals, and occasionally a person riding an animal. The people called them Kronkronbua, which translates to old days children in coma. In the 1960s, some Masi traders passing through saw these and took some with them. They later returned and begged for more, claiming they were for their children to play with. It turned out that they identified these as valuable relics and were defrauding the people. In the 1980s, word spread, and a Ghanaian archaeologist traveled to this isolated location to excavate in 1985. He was astounded at the quality and quantity of what he discovered. More than two decades later, a larger expedition was organized and sponsored. They started excavating mounds around the community and discovered scores of intriguing objects, ranging from figurines to decorative clay discs. Little is known about the individuals who created the sculptures. They have no link to the existing residents of the region. Experts know they were farmers who used iron tools, lived in villages, and held diverse religious beliefs. The fate of the Coma figurine craftsmen remains unknown. The air the area became depopulated, possibly due to migration, sickness, or fighting. Alternatively, enslavement could have been the cause, with the inhabitants being relocated either north to predominantly Muslim regions or south to what later became the starting point for European-controlled Atlantic slave routes. Six. 5,000-year-old wine jars. Archaeologists in Egypt unearthed hundreds of enormous ancient jars containing the remains of 5,000-year-old wine. Many wine jars are in good shape, and others are unopened with their stoppers intact. Importantly, the jars were discovered to contain organic residue, which the researchers identified as the remains of 5,000-year-old wine. The scientists also discovered a substantial number of well-preserved antique grape seeds in the jars. The finding of sealed, undamaged wine jars at Abydos, combined with well-preserved grape pips has the potential to considerably improve our understanding of early wine production, use, and commerce throughout the Mediterranean and North Africa. 5. Medieval Christian Wall Paintings Archaeologists made stunning discoveries in Old Dongola, in Sudan's northern state, when they unearthed a complex of sun-dried brick buildings with internal murals depicting figural images from early Christian art. The fresco's interior depicted the Mother of Christ, Virgin Mary, in a dignified position, holding a book and a cross in her hands and draped in a monochrome dark gown a representation previously unseen in Christian imagery. Another artwork uncovered depicts King David of Makuria in an intimate and dramatic moment with the Archangel Michael, whose spread wings protect both the king and Christ. These wall paintings negate the bias that Africans tried to copy art from the north. They were creative, adapting not only to world trends, but to their needs. Thus, the new paradigm should be Nubio and Afrocentric. 
4. Meteorites A farmer in the Northern Cape area contacted scientists after suspecting he had found two meteorite bits. If confirmed, these would be the first meteorite findings in South Africa in more than 40 years. After subjecting the fragments to a variety of tests, specialists were able to demonstrate that, despite being located about a kilometer apart, the two fragments were unrelated, that is, they must have come from different meteor incidents. The twin discovery brings South Africa's total of confirmed meteorites to 51, the highest in sub-Saharan Africa. 3. Ancient Nubian Stone Tablets A massive stockpile of stone inscriptions from one of Africa's oldest recorded languages was discovered in a gigantic City of the Dead in Sudan. The inscriptions are written in the enigmatic Meroitic language, which is the oldest known written language south of the Sahara and has only been partially deciphered. The find includes Temple Art of Mat, the Egyptian goddess of order, equity, and peace, who was represented with African traits for the first time. Sedenga is home to a sprawling necropolis known as the City of the Dead, which spans more than 60 acres. It contains the remains of at least 80 brick pyramids and more than 100 tombs from the kingdoms of Napata and Moreau, which ruled from the 7th to the 4th centuries AD. These kingdoms blended Egyptian and African traditions in ways that can still be seen in Sudan today. The researchers believe Sedanga was a major location for commercial roadways that avoided the meandering and cataracts of the Nile to the north to go straight to Egypt through desert roads. Unfortunately, the Nile creeps eastward in this region, steadily eroding the excavation site, which suggests that the settlement near the river may have been completely obliterated. Two. The Lucy fossils. Lucy, the world's most famous fossil, was discovered poking out of a shallow Ethiopian stream bed in 1974, shedding new light on life for early human ancestors 3.18 million years ago. The image of her skeleton, which is thought to be 40% complete and the best representation of her species, Australopithecus afarensis, has become iconic. Lucy demonstrated that our ancestors were walking around long before the first stone tools were created, or brains became larger, and later fossil discoveries of considerably earlier bipedal hominids have validated this conclusion. 42 years after her discovery, researchers believe she was found near where she died and plummeted from a great height to her death. Overall, the fractures and bone-to-bone -bone impact linked with her death are severe, and Lucy must have fallen from a significant height to sustain such trauma. This also suggests that, while Lucy could reach vast heights, she may not have been an adept climber due to her physical characteristics. 1. Ancient Fish Salting Port of Lixis Lixis is a historic city in Morocco, immediately north of the present present seaport of Larache on the Lucos River. The place was one of the major cities in the Roman province of Mauritania Tingitana. Lixus became a Roman city in 40 AD when Caligula ordered the execution of Ptolemy, Mauritania's final monarch. During that time, the city experienced continuous growth. The Romans erected splendid temples and palaces on the hilltop, several of which include intricate mosaics that are currently displayed in Tetuan's archaeological museum. The lower town was dedicated to salt and garum manufacturing, which were popular among the Romans. Several vats used in this technique have been well preserved. During the late Roman Empire, the city's fortunes deteriorated alongside the rest of the empire. Diocletian closed the border to the north, leaving Lixus trapped, yet the city persevered, maintaining an urban hub until the 15th century, well into the Islamic period. Nature eventually accomplished what centuries of opponents had failed to do. The estuary progressively silted up, leaving Lixus landlocked. The people relocated to the estuary's new mouth and established modern-day Larash. Even after all these discoveries made on African soil, I am positive that there are many more waiting to be discovered. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.